Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, uh, it's going to be specifically on text in Sony Vegas. Um, A1 Crazy Man posted a comment on my channel asking uh, how to overlay text on video. So I'm going to explain that and just the basics and some advanced techniques when using text. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So there's three main ways to insert text into your project in Sony Vegas. The first way, and the way that I use most of the time, is to go to your Media Generators tab here go to the text category and then uh, you have a list of presets here and you can just drag them into the timeline so just click one of the presets and drag them into the timeline and there you go you can type it in from here and then add keyframes and effects and stuff and so forth so that is one way of adding text the second way is to go up here to the insert menu at the top hit insert and then go down to text media which as you can see right now is faded out but that's because I don't have a video track right now so we don't have to exit this but we can just go back to the insert menu and we can go to video track and it will insert a video track for us or you can just right click your timeline and hit insert video track but anyways once you have your video track up you can go back to the insert menu and then go to text media and it's the same thing you can just type from there and uh, there's one more way to uh, bring up text again let's just pop up a video track so here is our video track just right click anywhere inside the video track and then just go to insert text media. Right now I have a, um, a keyboard shortcut, control and T, so if I uh, just use the keyboard shortcut, control and T, it brings up uh, the text editor. Now this probably won't happen with you because I created this keyboard shortcut myself. I have a tutorial explaining everything that you need to know about creating your own keyboard shortcuts in Sony Vegas, so um, I'll put a link to that in the right and you can check it out if it interests you. So that's the way that you uh, bring up text, so I'm just going to uh, drag it in. I was mixing up bring and drag. Dring. Okay, so you might be wondering, uh, what is the difference between default text and solid background? They look the same uh, when I put them into the timeline. Like if we look here, I'll drag default text into the timeline, and uh, if I exit this and just uh, highlight it, you can see it just looks like sample text on a black background. So let's get rid of default text and drag in solid background. And uh, it looks the same as default uh, text. So why do they look different up here, but when I put them into the timeline, they look the same? Now, as you can see on default text, we have these uh, dark gray and light gray checkers behind the text. Now these checkers represent uh, trans transparency. I was thinking of transportation. I'm not thinking straight today. So yeah, uh, these checkers represent transparency, which means you can see through it. Now, uh, a good example of this would be, let me just bring in some video here, and I'm going to answer A1 Crazy Man's question right here. So let's go to my stock footage folder and just drag in this. Okay, so I'm going to put this into my timeline. It's just a clip of this bear. Okay, so now let's insert a new video track on top. And let's go to the Media Generators tab. Now let's drag Solid Background and put it on top of the bear. As you can see, it uh, covers up the bear and you can't see it anymore. Now, let's put on Solid, or I'm um, sorry, let's put on Default Text, this one with the dark gray and light gray checkers, which means transparency. If we click and drag this on top, you can see that it leaves the text and the video is also visible. So. Now that you know how to bring in text and the difference between transparency and opaque, uh, opaque is just, you know, you can't see through it. Okay, so now let's um, learn how to edit text, add effects, and uh, modify it with keyframes and other things like that. So here's our text editor. Uh, we can just highlight this text here and hit backspace and then type whatever. So I can say the common grizzly bear or something. And it's too big. You can see in the video preview. So what we can do here is highlight the text. Then here where it says 72, just hit this drop down arrow and change it to like 26 or something. And maybe you can italicize it or align it. But I don't really use these aligning buttons because if you go to the placement tab, you can position it accordingly. So yeah, it just doesn't work out that well. So if we go back to the edit tab, we can also change the font here. Um, if you download custom fonts from the internet, I also have a tutorial on that. Um, so if you download custom fonts, they will work in Sony Vegas. Uh, like this font, I'm pretty sure it doesn't come with Windows. It's called Rough Typewriter. 
and Yorkville. Like, see, I downloaded these fonts from the internet, and um, so they will work in Sony Vegas. In case you were wondering, I'll just change the font to David, I, or maybe not. Okay, so whatever. So we got our font and our size, and we can italicize it if we want. So we got this tab all configured, and it's all good. Let's go to the placement tab. Now you can have it in the center, top, top left corner, top right corner. I'm just going to put it down in the bottom center, kind of like a subtitle or something. And that looks pretty good. So there's also these options up here, but I just ignore them because, well, you don't have to ignore them. Like these are all the presets here, and then you can input the exact dimensions or uh, coordinates or whatever the hell those are. And then safe zone, I have no clue what this really does. So, whatever. Now, enough about the placement tab, let's go to the properties tab, and this is where you can actually get creative. You can change the text color here. I'll put it at black, and this font really isn't working out. And here's a quick tip, instead of having to highlight the text like this, just uh, click on the text field and hit control A, and it will uh, select it all for you. So let's pick a different font here. I know this tutorial is kind of going a little slow, but I'm just not really in the tutorial making mood, if that makes sense. That's why I'm kind of mixing up my words and just, it's not the way most of my tutorials are. Sorry. Okay. So, let me just change the size of this. Oh, another thing, this size thing where you can just pick a number and it will change the size of your text. That is also uh, pretty unnecessary because if we go to the properties tab, we can go here to scaling and this will uh, manually uh, change the size. You just drag the slider and it gets bigger or smaller depending on which way you push it. So let's go to the placement tab. And okay, this isn't really looking too good, but whatever. And then you got this other color palette here, and this is for background color. So uh, normally, if you're using default text, this is just going to be transparent like that. But if you're using solid background, you can change the color of the background. And let's say you accidentally mess it up like this, like, whoa, and now where's my bear? Well, what you do here is see where there's this little. Uh, color and then it slowly fades into these checkers. This is where you edit how transparent it is. Right now it's at 100% opaque. Drag it all the way to the bottom and it's 100% transparent. And you can also uh, pick color from the screen and stuff. And tracking is the space between the letters, in case you're wondering. And leading, I don't really know what this does. Okay, now let's go to the effects tab. Now you can have draw outline checked. I always have this checked, or not always, but like 99.9% .9 of the time I have it checked just because it simply makes it better. Then you can change the color of the outline. Uh, it depends on what kind of video you're using. Sometimes yellow looks uh, good, sometimes blue looks good. Right now yellow is looking pretty good. You can also have a drop shadow, but I don't think it's going to work out too well right now. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then deformation, I never use this. It just kind of messes up your text. And I just don't really like it. So, you know, you can use it if you want, but I don't really like it. Alright, so that's basically it for text. Let's just quickly go over some keyframes here. How long is this tutorial so far? Okay, so it's been about 8 minutes, so I don't have that much time left. Now let me just go over keyframes quickly. First of all, I highly suggest you check out my keyframing tutorial in case uh, you don't know what keyframes are or anything. It'll make this part a whole lot easier for you. So I'm just going to assume that you already know the basics of keyframing. So let's go to the properties tab here and let's position a keyframe at the 2 second mark and let's change the color of our text to green and it simply places a keyframe there and hang on a sec okay so it starts off black and then fades to green so yeah that's one way you can work keyframes in uh, and then back to get back to the text editor once you exit it it's just this little uh, green film strip thing on your text clip and that is how you bring this back up and this square directly below it is the pan and crop tool. Again, you can associate keyframes here. Let's put one here again at the two second mark. And we can actually uh, do something like this. And then position another keyframe. It's not going to look too good, but you know, you can get creative with it. Alright, so this is going to be extremely messed up. So there's the keyframes. The common grizzly bear. Whoops. Okay, so there you go. So I just want to wrap up this tutorial really quickly. Tutorial really quickly. See, I'm not doing too good today. Okay, so that's basically it. I hope I answered some of your questions, but if you still do have questions, it's okay. You can just leave a comment below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. So anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later.